house tube Friday the 10th of December it's just about 25 past 8 in the morning um, up showered dressed absolutely shattered <laughs> I really 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 enjoyed my stitching in this room last night with my lovely lights on and had the TV on and had a lovely time but late nights don't suit me <laughs> And I know 25 past 11 for some people is probably not your idea of all that late, but considering I'm usually in bed at 5 or 6 o'clock in the evening and usually sleep by 8, you know, it was, it was a late night and I'm paying for it this morning. I think my as soon as my head hit the pillow, I think I was gone because I remember Poppy came for a cuddle. I'll turn the light out. Poppy came for a cuddle. That's the last thing I remember. <laughs> so, and I've literally slept all night, so... Yeah, so like my carer, what did, did come this morning, like she comes just after 6am, so like I get early morning wake up call as well, so yeah, just about, you know, six and a half hours sleep or so, it's not enough for Kerry. <laughs> so anyway, I'm here, I've got my second cup of tea of the day, so, and I have Charlie next to me, there he is, turning on all the buttons on the printer. Aren't you Charlie? Yeah, we've got a new bed coming for you tomorrow. Yeah, well it's going to go on top of the printer so you won't turn the buttons on. He's purring, you probably can't hear him but he's purring away there. So he had a good chat with my carer this morning, filled her in on everything she missed out on yesterday. <laughs> so yeah. So I'm going to have my cup of tea and I'm going to get stitching. Oh, that was my cameoing. And um, I'm, I should finish probably this morning on my secret stitch. I'm going to FFO it straight away. Yes, I'm turning it into, into a pillow. Um, I'm not giving away any more details other than that. Um, and then I need to wrap it up because there's something else to go with it. Stick it in a parcel and see when I can get to the post office. Normally I'd be able to go on a Saturday going up to the church to go to choir but we're not there tomorrow, we're down the other end of the village at um, singing at this Christmas market. <laughs> um, so, but Dad's coming on Monday so I'm quite sure he'll take it for me on Monday to post it. So yeah, so that's my plan for today. Mom, I don't think Mum's coming today, she doesn't usually come on a Friday. So it's just us so um somebody's using a litter tray so i'll go and sort that out now joy of joys and i'll talk to you later bye uh, because uh charlie's been staying in here with me and pushing all the buttons on the printer again i brought his bed from the other room in just for now it's too big for for the printer as you can see <coughs> but um he's taken to it straight away well, I mean, he sleeps in it in the other room, but yeah, he had a quick look and he was like, oh yes, yes, this is quite nice. And since he's been in it, he's not pushed any of the other buttons. <laughs> so, so that's good. So I'm hoping that the one that comes tomorrow will work. Are you happy in there, Charlie? I think that's a yes. What do you think, Pops? Poppy? Let me see. What's Charlie got? What's Charlie got? <laughs> it's just coming up to quarter to two and within the last hour I finished my secret stitch. <laughs> so it just goes to show that in less than well, around about twenty four hours after clamping down on it, making sure I got it done. I got it done and it was a really fun little stitch so yeah so I'm just preparing to FFO it now I've chosen my backing fabric I have my rotary blade at the ready and uh, yeah I'm going to to uh, get it sewn oh so I need to check if this I thought I might put some trim around it but I'm not sure if I've got enough actually some pom-pom trim I'll have to check that first <laughs> if not I might have to do it without but I like putting the pom-pom trim on it I just think it finishes it off nicely but I'll have to see what I've got <laughs> anyway 
yep, I shall get FFO and see you soon. Well, it's 6pm and um, I'm absolutely shattered. <laughs> but um, I managed to finish and FFO my secret stitch. So I'm going to get it wrapped up and um, my dad will be coming on Monday. So I'll ask him nicely if he'll take it to the post office for me. So yeah, I'm really pleased about that. Um, I'm just going, well, I'm, so I'm going to go and head to bed, um, maybe play my game for a bit, but also I've, um, I'm taking, um, just a notebook and pencil to bed because, um, I need to do some serious catching up on my temperature garden. I've never got this far behind before. I'm like, what, six weeks behind? So I'm just going to like write down all the temperatures and then convert them to floss colours and then uh, I'm going to start stitching on that tomorrow, maybe, because <laughs> it depends because we've got this performance at the Christmas market um, in the village in the morning. Um, we haven't heard it's been cancelled, so we're assuming it's uh, still going ahead. So, so yeah. It'll just depend how I feel, to be honest. Oh, excuse me a minute. It'll just depend how I feel when I get back from that. Um, I'm not stopping there because um, I'm getting a lift with my friends and um, they need to get off because they have riding lessons on a Saturday. So I'm just going to come straight back with them because we need to take my wheelchair down. So, yeah, I can't get myself back in my wheelchair. But, um, yeah... Charlie's still next to me. There he is. What you can't tell from that is how he's purring away. Well, let's just turn you around. Oops. <laughs> Hopefully you're able to hear him then. But yes, I am going to leave you and I am going to go to bed because I'm shattered five hours earlier than yesterday. <laughs> yeah, I can't do late nights. <laughs> so I shall say good night and enjoy the rest of your evening and I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye.